Many a man remains behind the eight ball because no one ever thought he could be anything other than what he appears to be. Fortunately, I had a mother who at a tender age took me aside and persuaded me that I was her favorite. She would say, you will make your mother very proud of you, won't you? And naturally I said, yes, mother. I wore long white curls at the time and she would curl my hair, run her finger up my curl, kiss me and send me on my way. Then call the next one to have his hair curled. Mother told the same story to each of us. It was only after we had all grown to manhood that we discovered what mother had done. But by that time, she had accomplished her purpose. She didn't expect us to make a fortune, but to be one in whom she would be proud. And in our own separate spheres, we all became successful in her eyes. From Neville's 1969 lecture, Bear Ye One Another's Burdens. What a wonderful way to parent, from an early age to make the child or each of the children, feel that they are most beloved and to plant in each of them a seed of success. But even if we didn't have such a parent, even if we had a parent or parents who were the opposite, I remember Neville even saying the type of parents we attract, those experiences, also created from our imagination. We think we come into this world that we're born and we die, and yet mystics look at it more as a dream, a wake dream, and that we fall in and out of wake dreams. Sometimes I catch my elderly father saying, he's ready to go, it's time to go. Even sometimes I've caught myself imagining I'm a little baby and being cared for, but then I say, stop that. What if a bridge of incidents brings me to be a baby again, especially when such imaginings repeat? Instead, I bring back the focus. No, I want this dream of life to be my heaven on earth and in a sense forever and ever. So be mindful what you think, not just of yourself, but for those you love, especially your children. Neville goes on to say that he wants you to learn not to be so engrossed in your own little world, but to see another as a projection of yourself. Neville says when you meet someone who is unemployed, take a moment to imagine him gainfully employed. Practice this art daily. Pick up your cross and set everyone free from what he seems to be. Lift the burden of someone today and maybe tomorrow you'll be able to do it to two. Don't let another remain carrying his burden because there is no other. So when Neville tells you, today you do it for one person, maybe tomorrow too. He knows that it isn't always easy to do it for someone else because we're so absorbed in our own world. But when you start to understand his teachings, you realize we're all connected. The good you do for another is a good that will come and bless you as well. And Neville also talks about doing this out of joy and not to worry if it worked or not. And not to worry if the person comes back and gives you thanks. And even if they did, you don't even have to tell them what you did. And none of this will be in vain, because as I said, there is no other. So what you do for another, you're also blessing yourself. Occasionally he had taught people an exercise where you could see it for another, as a way to bless yourself with such. We're here. What is this called? Okashi? What's it called? Bulgurata. No, no, all this. You call the okashi? Okazu. Oh, okazu. What's side okazu? Dishes. Oh, side dishes. Wow. Well, it's a little more expensive here, but it's really quality. So we're going to bring this for his mom. You only have one mom. It's okay. Thank you for carrying me. Yeah, I don't need this. It's okay, go ahead. Let's get a let's get a couple of these. Oh, so you get one of these little sticks. Let's get a try a couple of these. 
one of these, one of those. What else would you like to try? One croissant? Compared to mine. Okay, anything you want. Yeah. What is this? Miso soup. Oh, miso soup. So it's about $37 USD for our gourmet lunch and dinner and also unagi for your mom. Toshi, do you remember what once in a blue moon means? Uh, okay. Once in a while, rare. Uh, yeah, we, we go to that bento shop once uh, in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon? Yeah, like maybe only a few times a year. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Japanese word? Yeah, uh, once a, uh, a few years, a few times a year. Yeah, once in a while, rarely. Toki Toki, Toki Toki. Oh, that's sometimes, honey. <laughs> okay, Toki Doki. Toki Doki it is. And in closing, Neville tells the story of Job. As he prayed for his friends, his own captivity was lifted. While locked in his own desire to free himself of his physical, social, and financial problems, Job forgot himself and prayed for his friends. And in so doing, all that he had lost returned to him one hundredfold. As you pray for your friends, you will discover your own captivity is lifted. Your cross becomes lighter and lighter until finally you are light itself. So take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ask for no thanks or financial gain in the doing. Just know the joy of lifting the cross, for it is being lifted from your own shoulders. When I hear that a man's needs has been provided for and he has become self-persuaded, it is true and it becomes true. I never tell him what I did. I simply revel in the joy and satisfaction of seeing this law of Christ fulfill itself. It never fails when put into practice. Yeah, see, Chuka, I used to make this sometimes, but it's a little bit of a thing. Oh, the Nishoka. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I like how you slurp. Oh, it's already soft because I mm. had it in the fridge while we ate. Mm. Oh, she's this guy. It's as sweet as American, and I just realized it has a coffee taste, and now I see caramel oh, macchiato. Yeah.
Let's try gyoza. Whoa. Actually, I'll probably just use a little fork. Mm. 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 Mm.